Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to another episode of our Planet Zoo franchise mode. Let's play. Where we're diving right back into Elite Zoo South to continue our developments. Now, before I do, I just want to touch on something really quickly. As many of y'all pointed out in the previous episode's comments, Elite Zoo North, especially those of you familiar with that uh, first season, have mentioned that there seem to be some financial difficulties that Elite Zoo North is going through. Uh, we went from having about what was it? <laughs> A million and a half, nearly two million uh, bucks down to, well, I had to think about the word there, bucks. I, I was about to say dollary dues, and then I realized we're, <laughs> we're back at Elite Zoo North here for this conversation. But yeah, we went from having about one and a half plus million dollars down to about uh, 775k as you can see. And our happiness dropped as well from guests being super happy to being, you know, mediocre at best. Definitely issues and circumstances that I will want to go back to Elite Zoo North for to tackle and, and solve. I'm not sure what happened. Uh, things were going rather swimmingly until that last episode, it feels like. But that is a concern for another time. I'd like to continue on with Elite Zoo South for now, and maybe at episode, you know, 10 or 15, or once we've made a foothold and once we've made a decent bit of progress at Elite Zoo South, Maybe we get one episode where we go to Elite Zoo North and try and sort these issues out. Because it is a franchise and I want to try and deal with things as though it were a franchise. So I'd like to make sure things are okay uh, at our other location as well. But like I said earlier, for now, for today, we are diving at or into Elite Zoo South, I should say. Where things are, you know... <laughs> the numbers are smaller, but the issues might be similar. Let's dive right on in. Nothing else to check over here. Yep, in we go. Now, hopefully today we're going to see a decent bit of progress. I will be forthright with you right off the bat, as I like to try to be. There might actually not be a time lapse today. I'm not 100% sure uh, if we'll get to that stage where we'll be able to afford a time lapse at the extent and scale that I want. And more on that in just a moment's time. Let's just quickly take a look at our... Oh, that's unfortunate. So despite our best efforts, despite our contribution, the community challenge overall failed. And I can only assume as a result of that, uh, we didn't get anything. We can get some of these unclaimed rewards. Can we get these, though? I'm not sure. Let's find out. Only one way to know. I believe we'll get these. If I... Uh, hello. Excuse me. Game. Okay. Could I... Oh, there we go. I was just loading and figuring out those four rewards. So I got myself a new pair of shorts. Cool. I've got some conservation credits. All right. Go ahead and claim those. And I've got myself... Okay, that's the next stage over. Uh, it's really That really is too bad. Did not get uh, the animal. I'm assuming that would have only come through if we managed to hit the target and we were only at 75%. So that's unfortunate. We did what we could. And a lot of animals we you know put out there to have... A better life than they were having in captivity. I think it's the right call. As some of y'all pointed out in the comments, it is a difficult thing to do. You get so attached with the animals or to the animals. Um, that was a good little push in the right direction, I feel, to make the uh, the right call. Um, but yeah, back on topic. So we might unfortunately not have uh, a, a, a pace of wealth accumulation that'll allow us to get a time lapse done today. The next time lapse I want to do is a rather large undertaking. Uh, I want to either get all of this enclosure, you know, complete or as I, as I like to always say, nothing's ever complete. So as close to complete as we can get it. Um, and then, uh, either that or, you know, get uh, this enclosure, uh, close to complete. But the thing is, I don't just want to sit there and accumulate wealth, um, I, I want to actually make progress while we're accumulating wealth as well to help make that accumulation at a faster pace. So, for example, we're going to be, as we get enough money, we're going to build some stalls and things like that. We're going to try and speed up that income uh, rate so that down the line, we're not going to have to slow down like this. So, again, I apologize for those of you that watch every episode solely for the time lapses. I'm not saying there isn't one today. I'm just saying there might not be one today. Uh, so, hopefully, we can get it in because I do like... Uh, what a time lapse can help us accomplish, but I, I want to make sure we don't end up bankrupt, right? Let's go ahead and unpause. It's uh, August of year 10. We're at about 3k. I think we'll be fine overall. I think we'll be fine. Uh, I do want to get another store. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Before I unpause, I just realized there is a lot of stuff to do today as well. Again, so it's not like we're just going to be sitting around doing nothing. There's, there's plenty to do. For example, starting with, well, I thought that was the baby, and then you get close enough and you can see the rest of the Eesh. Um, where is our baby? Don't tell me he's gotten out again. <laughs> Not over here. All right, let's go ahead and do it the uh, the smoother way, the faster way. 
Ajij. Oh no, Ajij has escaped. <laughs> God damn. This guy. Uh, I thought the vet was en route. Now we could do an emergency capture over here. I, it, there, there has been a piece of advice that I could just draw an enclosure around the escaped animal. That's a very clever like hack or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm not going to do that. It feels a little... For, for, for a Let's Play that I'm doing on the channel, it feels a little disingenuous. But if I was playing this on my own, that's something that's totally, you know, up for grabs, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get Adij back in here and keep an eye on his escape routes and fix that right off the bat. Again, this is a classic Party Elite problem, isn't it? Uh, so let's, let's sort that out. And, and this is one lesson I need to learn now because it's cost us a lot in this zoo already. Not only with uh, customers asking for refunds, but also, every time we have to recapture an animal, it's $2,000 redos, right? Dollar redos? Yeah, I believe it was. I believe that's what y'all told me in the comments it's supposed to be. Now, another thing with regards to comments and pointed out is that these guys... No, okay. These two were actually from the same zoo. And uh, I didn't notice that. And in the comments, it was pointed out that these guys were from the same zoo. So I need to check about potential for inbreeding. Fortunately, even though they're from the same zoo, they are not from the same... Uh, litter or whatever you know from the same line i suppose we could say so there's no inbreeding happening over there no potential for inbreeding what i would like nonetheless you know despite that or alongside that oh my god okay there's a fine fine this is like the most commonly requested like reference that i've seen so fine i'm not even gonna care about the stats a llama named kuzco <laughs> I hope I hope that makes y'all happy. It makes me happy. I mean, I, I enjoy that cartoon just as much as anybody else. Um, so there you go. We, we've got one now into quarantine. You go, Cusco, uh, and hopefully your your line will reign supreme and for many years to come. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. I, I easily could have been scooped up by anybody. Well, let's go ahead and get some more llamas. Is what I was getting at. Uh, Thirty six hundred. Oh, a refresh going on over here. Thirty six hundred for some pretty solid stats, actually. I wouldn't mind that at all. 3,600 might be a little bit on the steep side, but we have those conservation credits for a reason, right? Go ahead and move you into quarantine as well. And the reason why I want to just get a few more llamas is because if this space is a little bit busier, uh, we might attract bigger crowds, we might attract bigger donations. After all, donations will build this nation up from where it is right now. Hence me putting donation bins down right in front of people. I mean, I imagine they're having a pretty good time. I'm gonna need some refreshments soon. It's so hot. Yeah, that's something I want to tackle. I want to make sure people are happy. When people are happy, they spend more money. Uh, when people spend more money, I have more money. To get more money, I need them to be able to spend that money in more places. And I need to be able to fulfill some of their requirements. Like, I gotta put down some benches and stuff, make sure people aren't getting tired too easily obviously for our accessibility angle as well benches are super important there's, there's a lot going on and before i forget again before i forget again let's sort this out right now Ajit, where are you making a break for it are you buddy where is your escape route here that's your escape is it anywhere else Up over here okay cool. easily fix and i'm actually going to fix it with rocks because eventually that's what we're going to do anyway. So rather than empty the uh, water out and redo it, I'm just going to put some rocks down. They're not that expensive. They're like, what, 10 bucks each or something? They're not that pricey or anything. And this is what we're going to do later on anyway. So just getting some uh, initial groundwork there done. Uh, what was the... Was the I think it was over here, right? Okay, this is a little different. This is a little different. This we might want to actually go ahead and... Ooh. Water's a little higher than I thought it was. Oh, in that case, it's not different at all. In that case, it's not different at all. Funny how the uh, map mode effect, or whatever you want to call it, is so uh, different. You can like barely tell what's going on. There. I know what I want. Hopefully that should block the little guy's access. There we go. And again, we'll be we'll be adjusting it a fair more fair bit more. Uh, the other thing is, um, with the next time lapse, I do also want to get some lighting done. I want to try and again, I've said this a couple times now, so I feel like a broken record, and I apologize for that. But I want to try and um, complete things as they come up. I want to try and make progress in large chunks when the opportunity arises. 
Why? How can you get out over here? Is it just because this cuts through? I think so. Um, but yeah, by, by that, what I mean is I want to add lighting. I want to add security. I want to do my wayfinding. A lot of you that, again, watch the um, Litsu North season know about my wayfinding idea. I want to execute that at Litsu South. And I want to do that from the beginning because that way we can actually execute it rather than look back on the zoo when it's massive and go, well, it's too late now. Now it would take me years to execute. So I just want to stay on top of all that stuff. And I feel like it'll lead to a more overall entertaining experience as well. I, again, I understand, uh, like, e even for me, the, there's a certain freshness with adding a new animal, you know, every episode or every other episode. But I feel like this approach will allow us to do bigger and better things. And overall, the pacing over the course of the series or of the season will be better than what happened last season, where if I'm completely honest, and I've seen some of y'all mention it in the comments too, uh, things slowed down a couple times, um, and there were like slow patches. Uh, I, I never found anything boring personally, uh, but I'm sure, you know, some folks did, and that's perfectly cool. That's feedback to me that's very helpful, and I'm trying to act on that feedback to result in a better overall show, uh, and hopefully it works. But again, I rely on you to let me know. Just like I rely on you, let me know things like, Hey party, it might be time to buy another keeper. Or perhaps even a vet. Let's go ahead and get ourselves... Well, first of all, let's go ahead and level you up. Level you up. Get ourselves a new keeper, I think is the right call for sure. We'll help keep things clean and whatnot. We'll help, you know, keep things. <laughs> Got. Can't help myself. Uh, and do we need another vet, actually? Uh, I don't, I don't know if it's necessary. What I do know is necessary is dropping Buddy's salary here. There we go. And sure, let's go ahead and get ourselves another vet. Drop you down over here, and we can adjust your salary too. After I assign you to what is temporarily being called center. Come here. You're not going to get away that easy. There we go. Industry standard. I, I, it's funny, I hear many people refer to me lowering salaries as, like, below minimum wage. No, no, no. I cannot believe that the game will allow us to pay people below minimum wage. That's illegal. So minimum wage has got to be that. This, I understand to be below industry standard, and this is above industry standard. Because, you know, if you're good at your job, you wouldn't work at a place... You wouldn't be happy about working below that standard. That That's how I read it. And that's why when people rank up, their industry standard goes higher. So, <laughs> I am not paying people below minimum wage. <laughs> I would not. I could not. No donations yet. It's a little unfortunate. These newer animals will hopefully help improve the, um, uh, the, the, the income coming here. But let's go ahead and make sure they have some food enrichment as well. That'll make them a bit happier. And again, happy animal means happy guests. Ooh, this is new, I think. Llamas. Llamas can eat from suspended forages. Okay, the tool puzzle feeder. Bonobos, chimpanzees, gorillas. Okay, so I guess I gotta put all of llama in. There we go. Uh, I guess the hanging grazer feeder is one of my preferred looking feeders. If we put it down over here, we can put it down over here, and that way, I guess we'll have maybe a, a nice view from over here as well. Again, when things get crowded, it'll get pretty busy, I think. Hopefully these paths are wide enough. Some of y'all, again, pointing out that that might be an issue. I sincerely hope it doesn't become an issue. But uh, we'll, we'll keep an eye out for that. Man, they do look so regal, don't they? So noble. I think that was the word that one of you used in the comments. And it's true. They look goofy and noble at the same time. Look at the, the way they have their upturned nose. Like they're judging us as we look upon them. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I also have some great, like, name suggestions and stuff for the stalls that I'll be building in the area, so thank you very much for that. Some of y'all getting ahead of the game. I welcome it. No issues at all from, from like, my end on that. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, I've got some good suggestions that I want to put in as well. Alright. Money's looking decent. We're at about 5k. I'm not surprised that things are on the, uh, on the up and up. I think we have enough money, in fact. Maybe purchase a little drink stall over here. Yeah. Let's go ahead and do that, why don't we? Now, I'm going to go ahead and put down a pip shot juice first. Uh, let's go ahead and dig... Now, wait, before I even get into that, sorry. What I really need to do is put up... Do not feed signs. 
Uh, it was pointed out before and it completely slipped my mind. I need to get these up right away before people start throwing food in the water or, you know, whatever it might be. Um, and again, they do have a radius they cover. I would very much like to make it look... There we go. A little bit more integrated, though. I think it'll hang out down over here, but that's okay, because again, we are, when we have the extra funds, we are going to build, like, a whole system uh, that, that makes this all make sense. It's not just going to be this weird, extremely strained cantilever or whatever this would be. Uh, we're not going to do that, don't worry. I am going to build a proper, you know, structure and everything. It's going to look very realistic. Uh, that is what I strive for. So fear not. Fear not. And that includes the uh, the stores as well. I will be doing the same thing for the stores too. Okay, we got one over there. Go and put one down over here as well. I feel like we can maybe rotate this slightly. Right, there we go. And we'll definitely need this for the llama enclosure as well. Now these guys aren't very expensive, so no problem there. Just want to make sure we are covered as far as uh, folks not feeding these animals. Because then the animals can get sick, and that's just, you know, another headache for us. And, and obviously it's just not nice for the animal either, which is the bigger concern, obviously. There. So that should have us mostly covered. I feel like we could get... Here, let's go ahead and do you and you. We'll copy these guys over as well. Again, like I said, just because we don't have a time lapse doesn't mean... Or again, just because we might not have a time lapse doesn't mean we're not going to see any progress today. There's still so much to do. Early early stages of the zoo, early stages of a franchise, uh, I think are most interesting uh, because of all of these challenges. And then as the franchise goes on for a longer time, I feel like the interest comes from what we can do and push as far as construction is concerned. Um, layout, construction, rides, well, rides, you know what I mean, things like that. Hopefully you all agree, and if you disagree, you let me know. Uh, again, like I've said before, I read all the comments. I read all the comments. And if you have an opinion, as long as you share it in a decent fashion, <laughs> you can rest assured I will try and act upon it. Uh, and uh, and again, to those of you joining me fresh, uh, those who have, who have been with this channel for a while now already know this, but those of you who are joining fresh, just so you know, I am always open to constructive feedback. You don't need to apologize for it. You don't need to feel bad about it. Um, it is more than welcome around these parts. After all, if you guys aren't having fun, then what's the point? <laughs> Alright, so this is good. I think that covers us for the crocs completely. But over here, again, I'll want to do something that's uh, stylized, right? I want it to feel integrated into our space. I want to make sure that it feels as important as anything else we might do. Wow, look at how filled up this is already. Come on. I mean, I, I, jeez. Maybe I underestimate how much we need. Protesters have arrived. Why? Oh, this, these guys are not feeling so hot. Is it because there's lots of babies? Oh, yes, there is. Yes, there is. Oh my god. I hate being on this screen. Um, you two get to stay. I'll go ahead and send you to the trade store center. What's the deal over here? By the way, we have a male and female snake, and we have a male and female roach as well. Why are you actually so upset? Nutrition. Oh, interesting. Got a keeper over here. Hmm. Those protesters are not good for our uh, reputation. We've got research complete. I need to get... Uh, yeah, llama research is being done. Good, good, good. Excellent. And where are our do not feed signs? So there's one over there. I suppose we could get another one. Yeah, on that side. And that'll cover... The folks over here. How does that feel? About symmetrical? Yeah, just about. Good stuff. I need another caretaker as well, actually. Let's go ahead and get another caretaker. One one person cleaning this entire space up is not justifiable by any means. Go ahead and give some people some raises as well. Especially the lower tier ones, right? High amounts of litter, yeah. Uh, caretaker. I want two, actually. And yes, salaries are going to go up, but hopefully our income is going to go up as well. Need to get the new stalls and stuff I was talking about. I've never been able to type over here, by the way. I've been told I should be able to type here, but oh, I guess you know what? It's from the staff menu. That's fine. Just a little bit of a market rate is fine. Money's still looking pretty good. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> Spoke a little too soon, maybe. Now we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, feed signs up over here might be all... Oh, no, people are actually going pretty far out. All right, cool. Not going to complain about that. And yes, the reason why I've left this path elevated is because it does nicely double as a barrier for the animals as well. I saw that brought up. Um, and you're exactly right. that It kind of doubles up. It looks rather pretty. I like the uh, the fencing. And uh, yeah, it does the, uh, does the job that needs doing. Plus, it's nice to have the elevated path every once in a while. It's like marginally elevated, but it's got the nice kind of um, treatment along the side and stuff as well, which I really like. Lots, uh, lots going for me there. And let's go ahead and put another one of you up over here, I think. Over here. Right next to the trash and the donation bin. So just as a reminder, there are other places to put food that you want to discard. Well, hopefully not the donation bin. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I meant. I meant the bin. There we go. Good stuff. I can't imagine guests are going too far down, but let's put another one down over here. Put you like so. And pop you in like so. And again, we will be doing some adjustments and stuff to make sure things are tucked in nicely and integrated nicely. That's some decent coverage. There are guests over there as well, so we want to make sure we've got coverage there too. Put you down. Up over here. There we go. Perfect. I, I like to try having patterns where possible, like construction patterns or placement patterns. Like, oh, always at the entrance and exit of a bridge, or for a particularly long bridge, do we, you know, put one at the middle as well? Uh, things like that. I like to try and get stuff like that happening. Uh, we'll see if we need one over there. We might. We might just. Having a security camera over there as well would be a good idea, but again, security cameras... Actually, how much are security cameras? How much are security cameras? Oh, they're not expensive at all. Not expensive at all. All right, cool. I always find it weird that the do not feed signs and stuff provide coverage for security. So I'm put you over here. Ten bucks, not bad. We have power here, though. We do not, do we? Just outside of power. What about over here? Here, we can definitely put some down. All right, cool. For now, for now. Put you down over here. And let's go ahead and put one down in the trees. And it makes sense. Put one down over here. Just as you come in. Put some down up over here, perhaps. Right behind these education boards. Very creepy spot to put them. Between these stalls. Hmm. Just trying to find a night. Again, once, once the construction work here is done, we'll be able to put, uh, put it at a logical spot. But for now, I think we're fine. Hopefully. Guests are not super happy. Education is low. Thirst. Yeah, not surprised. Low on cash. Let's go ahead and uh, put down a drinking spot over here. Now again, part of the impetus of putting down those uh, do not feed signs, right? We have coverage up over here. We don't. Let's go ahead and put one down up over here. And then we'll put down a spot for people to get some and drink. People need to stay cool. It's also a good way to make money for us. Very easy way for us to make money. Giving people one minute drink. I'll have to adjust the uh, barrier, of course. Not a problem. Want to make sure it's uh, neatly maintained here. Don't want to have an escape that isn't actually an escape. The view of the llama is not great. You're lying to me. Listen, you don't know what you're talking about. Go ahead and move you right in there. Let's go ahead and move you right in there. Beautiful. That's got to be enough space for a couple of stores, I think. We'll keep them all up over here. We, I was initially wondering about splitting them up, but I think we'll put washrooms up there and, yes, stores over here. And vendors. Uh, but thirst, I think, is the key issue, right? Yeah. Thirst is the key issue. So let's go ahead and get ourselves a pip shot juice. So I've got an excellent name for it already. Pop you down over here. That's another salary we'll have to pay, obviously. And I... Flap in the terrain here first. Do not tunnel. 
go for the rocks, if I can find them again. I don't know. Block path? Yeah, there we go. Just straight down that way. Let's go ahead and get R. Hip shot juice. And again, we will be absolutely, yes, beautifying the stalls and stuff as well down the line. When the time comes. When the time comes. They see that one. No. There we go. I can actually delete this now, and now I should be able to fit this in nicely. Got juice. Come on now. Animal is starving. That's unacceptable. A baby's coming soon as well. Hold on. Why is the animal starving? We have food over here. We'll be getting food up over here as well. The keeper should be able to reach all this. Because if an animal can go up and down this, then the keeper should be able to as well. There's the keeper coming through with food right now. I should hope. Yes. I wonder if we get another keeper, actually. Two hungry animals, you're starving. Getting you fed. The vets. You okay? Yeah, you're looking okay. Food enrichment is kind of low. No, you just don't like the hanging grazer all that much. Fair enough, fair enough. Get you a ball feeder as well, then. Get the ball feeder down over here. Again, we're trying to make as much of this space as interesting as possible, right? Cool. So back to the pip shot juice. That'll hopefully help make guests a little bit happier. If I can fit it here. Oh, there we go. And my only concern is lineups. My only concern is lineups. So you know what? Let's actually go ahead and dig this a little bit further down. And we'll put it uh we'll put it further down instead. Want to make sure guests have a spot to stand and wait. Because there there will be there will be lineups for this stuff. I wonder also if I want to actually Yeah, you know what, let's do it. Let's do this, why not? Should work okay. It should work to our like aesthetic and whatnot that we're going for. And get rid of you. And might be best to do this with a cube hide width. Let's go ahead and reduce that. Hold on. I thought I heard protesters. There they are. Protesting our poor starving animal who has been taken to the vet, if I'm not mistaken. Go ahead and move you back over here. I think they need to register that Ipsy Chispy here has been taken care of. Kispy? Chispy? I'm not sure. And then the protesters will be gone. They're obviously not helping guest happiness or anything. Protests rarely do that. No donations out of these llamas yet either. Okay, a little bit over here. A little bit over here. Once the baby llama comes, hopefully it'll, uh... It'll help. Man, these protesters really causing some, uh... Llama drama, huh? That's not even the right... That's not even the right animal. What are you on about? What do you know about animals? I mean, it's a similar-ish shape. Uh, for the record, I know that there's only... A predetermined number of shapes, or, or rather, sorry, designs they have. Alright, you're back. Are you okay? Are you still starving? Yeah, you're doing okay. Bed at the clinic. Wish I could have stayed longer. Yeah, we really gotta get those benches coming soon, eh? Really gotta get those benches coming soon. Go ahead and... Oops. Move you. Hate that the move. It all always the move button always gets like tucked away. Weird. Come on. There we go. And let's pull you all the way back here as well. Building an entire like mini food court here almost. Now where are we? Go back to 
side there. So let's go ahead and pull you up and out. Get rid of you as well. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There we go. Oh, no. Yes. No. Game. Work with me here. Work with me here. There we go. Gotta go around here. Up and around. And hopefully that'll be... Yeah, perfect. Well, perfect is a strong word, but you know what I mean. Go ahead and get our cube back over here. Got interrupted by those protesters. I think this will be the smoothest way to do this. Because again, we want that really sharp, vertical, you know, up and down happening. That very iconic shape from, from this, uh, you know, part of the world that we're trying to imitate, replicate. Oh, like that's getting there. We're getting there. These things take tender love and care. Money's looking good as well. Yeah, that's that's feeling good. Excellent. And then we could do the same thing over here, or I could dig this out a little bit more, actually. For now, you know what? For now, given our financial situation, let's just put down the pip shot juice over here, and we'll move it later. We'll move it later. But we do need to flatten this a bit, it seems. There we go, there we go. Cool. And hopefully, hopefully everybody enjoys the refreshments. And again, we'll build a... Oh, I'm so excited, actually. I know I have in mind how this space is going to look and everything. To, like, cover the space up, give it some shade and things like that. Really excited. Now, the Pip Shot Juice is going to be called... I could rename it. The pip shot juice is going to be called. Oh god. Lamanade. La Lama. Oh, I spelled that wrong. Horribly wrong. Lama Nade. There we go. Lamanade. You know, well, like, yes, like lemonade. Lamanade. I love it. God, I love it. Yeah. Again, some of the, the, the suggestions or requests or whatever you want to call it uh, got ahead of me before I could even request. Some names came, came through, and it's just like, well, they're really good name suggestions. How are you... What's the problem here? Why are you already, what, rotting? Jeez. That's a problem. If food goes bad that quickly, we literally just saw it get delivered. You have a little lie down over here? You already have... No, that's Cusco, but someone's supposed to have our baby soon. Rock Rock has not done very well. What's the problem here? Boy enrichment has dropped. Right, fair enough, fair enough, fair enough. Fair enough, getting bored of your uh, your toys, I suppose. Those are where things become interesting. Keeping these animals happy while checking our uh, financial status as well. Sprinkler is probably not a bad idea. The sprinkler down over there. And perhaps a pre-scented snack. Sack, sorry, not snack. Up over here. Oh, that's a horrendous. Move this a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. That's got to get us covered. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, actually having to do some management stuff is nice. Now, actually, I want to point something out really quickly. Many of you uh, informed me, thank you very much, about how uh, animal star rating is determined. It's a matter of how long you've taken care of the animal and how long you've taken care of the animal well. That seems to be what translates into a higher star rating. Um... So that's why some of the animals we were looking at last time that had just recently become adults, it apparently it only counts from adulthood, it seems, uh, they weren't counting as three star. Now I've seen a couple of people mention zoo ticket price is good, so that tells me that we can turn the prices up. Litter is disgusting. Where is their litter? Hopefully we're doing a better job of it now. Oh, hello. Okay, so we can finally see negative impact radius over here. I don't think... Okay, we do not have an overlap here. That's good. Yeah, for some reason we can't see it there yet. Weird. Wild. 
not a lot to do. Fiber croc is... Okay, well, what do you... Well, let's see. I'm trying to find the litter if there is any to find. Maybe it just got cleaned up recently. Fair enough. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, these guys are really busy, aren't they? But we're going to start seeing lineups over here hopefully soon. Again, as... I'm pretty sure as, like, scenery and stuff gets added as well, guests are more likely to um, spend money at those spots too, so... Another reason to actually care about <laughs> beautifying spaces than more than just, you know, it being pretty. These guys really aren't bringing in the big bucks, are they? How could they not? Look at these glorious opportunities. Look at that, you could be standing right next to this llama over here. Again, we could add some more, um... More animals. It'll just cost us conservation credits, and obviously it'll cost us maintenance costs as well, right? Food and things like that. Guests, yeah, they're coming up over here. They're getting educated, but they're not putting money down. Pretty run down around here. What are you, oh, someone tipped us over. We have a security camera right here. It is within view of, I thought, the security camera. But perhaps it is not. We're fine. We'll flank it. We'll flank it then. That's unfortunate. Money is... Hmm. Well, happiness has finally trended upwards now, so that's promising. That should be uh, indicative of the future to come. And again, hopefully over here we'll be able to add some more uh, eating spots and things like that, and that'll start generating more income as well, right? Are you seriously standing up there to look at the llamas? Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. Come, come down over here, look at the animal properly, I mean, unless I put up a barrier over here to stop views, they're not going to stop looking from there. I could do that. I could raise the terrain over here to be a part of this overall shape that we've carved into, right? Uh, but in the meanwhile, I just have to put down donation bins up over there. Now, I can't even put a donation bin down over here because it's sloped. My bigger concern, though, is a lack of education. Viewing Habitat 4. Yeah, they are actively viewing this habitat. Which, by the way, is going to be called... Llama Lane. Again, a suggestion that came through from the comments. I've got some really great actual, um, uh, it's always hard for me to pick names. I just want it to be crystal clear because there are always so many good name suggestions. Llama Lane came up a couple of times with a few different, like, reasons and explanations for it. So I loved it and I went with, uh, Llama Lane. It is the, uh, you know, it, it's, 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 it's the connection between our center and, uh, our South America focused space. But I also got some really cool, like, culturally inclined recommendations or suggestions as well. Uh, which is great because that gives me some, you know, keywords and thoughts to research on and, uh, and build some of the enclosures. I actually have some really cool ideas now, uh, furthering from the ideas I already had previously for what to do with our, you know, Baird's Tapir and Anteaters and things like that. Now, on that note, actually, I'll also mention it's been pointed out that the Anteater is a bit of a nightmare animal to make um, a uh, walkthrough enclosure for. Their relation with humans is neutral, but apparently they get stressed out very easily. Uh, and even though guests can enter the habitat, apparently they can be pretty dangerous, uh, based on at least one of your comments with regards to how they treat human interaction, which is by burying their claws and standing on their hind legs, apparently. So in the name of realism and also in the name of not having to deal with ridiculous amounts of stress, uh, I'm going to definitely keep that in mind and uh, do the Baird's Tapir and maybe the capuchin monkey together and have the anteater on its own. And I've got some ideas for all of their enclosures as we, you know, expand forth down this way. Very excited for it all. Really am kind of concerned about... Okay, good, good. Happiness has dropped again. What's not being fulfilled? Just happiness in general. Okay, why are people upset? Uh, I'm too hot. I guess I could put down some more coolers. Probably not a terrible idea. Different challenges from a different uh, region, eh? Come on, it's good. The animals actually, let me check here. The animal temperatures should be okay here. Um, sorry. Need to check Zoopedia for this. Right. Like, where, where, why can't I? Yeah. I'm mixing up my exhibits with, with these guys. Negative 5 to 40. 40 seems to be our upper threshold that we hit around these parts, so we should be fine. Look at this. Look at this wonderful view. Guys, just chilling down over here. I, I will be adding, by the way, like fencing and stuff so people can't just leap in. Again, 
trying to aim for that realism, right? February of next year. Okay, cool. Baby's almost due. That'll be great. That'll be great. Yeah, more people coming through over here. Getting their drinks, getting their laminades. I'm not lining up for 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah, wow. I guess it is super busy over here, eh? A gator bites over there. Now, we, we do have rock pops over here as well, but I guess people don't want ice cream. They want drinks. I should probably add another one over here. Now, you are what? What do you sell? You're a gulpy soda. We got a gulpy soda. Uh, maybe we get a pip shot water. Yeah, maybe we got a pip shot water over here. We've got the pip shot juice down there. I'll have water down there as well, but getting water more often than not is not a bad, not a bad idea. All things considered. Okay, use you to line things up. Actually, I might just keep you in the group. Why not? And for those of you who are thrown off by the asymmetry, there you go. <laughs> asymmetry solved. Let's also very quickly now upgrade our staff too. We've got a lot of vendors that I think need just a little bit of help. These increased salaries are hopefully not going to hurt us too much. And our keepers are, yeah, our keepers are overworked, man. Okay, well, let's go ahead and hire another keeper. And not just that, but I also want to do... Um, I also want to get a keeper hut in this little tunnel space we have. But uh, I just need to make sure I have the money for it. Actually, another cool thing that was suggested to me was that the staff could do with a very cool view over here. If we go ahead and make this into a gap. That actually gives the staff a pretty neat view of the um, waterfall and stuff we'll be building over here. I thought that was a great idea, so very happy to integrate that. Thank you for that. And yeah, what we'll probably do is maybe put a keeper hut over here or something. When we have the money for it again, they cost about 2k, I think, if I'm not mistaken. A keeper hut is... Oh, 1,000. Okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. We can tuck it in over here. Um, it should be easy enough to connect. Just have to move the train around a little bit. And that'll make it a lot easier to feed the llamas. And that might be why they were starving. Just because it takes so long to bring the food and you know, get it in there and stuff like that. We should be. We should be okay. Feast, my pretties. Yes. Man. Such adorable animals. Such adorable animals. Food enrichment is okay. Could do a bit more. It's doing decently right now. I don't know if they get bored of food enrichment. How's our donations? They're coming through. All right. Let's take a look at our financial situation again. Again, last year we spent a fair bit of money, so this is understandable and acceptable. Did we actually have refunds, though? A little bit. I, I am worried about the rate at which we're increasing our staff wages, but I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, I guess you're coming through. What's the deal over here? Look at that. Immediate lineups over here. Easy money. Easy money providing drinks. Very happy to see that. Got to keep that in mind more. Got to keep that in mind more. These donations are still coming through. Again, people are more likely to check out a newer animal, right? So they're moving towards the, uh, the llamas. Once we start exploring our Africa section up over here. I'll, I'll leave you to guess what animal you can expect the moment you enter the Africa zone. But uh, once we get a new animal up over there, we should see traffic up over here get intensely more busy than afterwards. Now, we're almost at 400 guests, which is nice. I don't know if we already crossed that threshold or not. Well, let's take a look at the challenges, though. We definitely crossed 300. Let's go ahead and claim that 1,000. I'll take it happily. Souvenir profits, okay. And two different habitat species. Habitat species, okay. That means another, you know, like a llama or... <laughs> you playing with a ball over here? That's pretty cute. That kid's having a good time. That kid knows what's up. Both these kids know what... Those parents know what's up. Yeah. How come she doesn't have... Does she have headphones on? I see your headphones clipping through your hair. Why doesn't she have headphones? She left out like that. That's not nice. But that means people are buying their audio guides and stuff. I like those little details, like the, the game has these little like visual details and stuff. We need, a, need another vendor for this spot, don't we? Oh, actually, you know what we need? Sorry, I knew I'd forget. What we need is, first of all, let's check crime. Everything's fine. 
bath work zones edit. That's what we need. I knew I was forgetting something. Center, center, and center. There we go. There we go. Cool. I guess they're coming through. Yeah, we're about 350. Education. I think education's a lot better now as well. 22%. Mm, I'm beat. Time to call it a day. But your energy's at 68%. You're not tired. You're lying to me. Go ahead and get some benches down. Benches help tremendously. Uh, I like the New World bench. It's nice and simple. And, uh, oops. Nice and simple and kind of like blends in anywhere, kind of. This one, not not this one. This one has very little blending. I like this one for certain places. It reminds me very much of the uh, harbor front in Toronto has this uh, structure. They look like waves. Very much reminds me of that. So it works nicely, actually, for something like the, uh, the dock over here. Actually, you know what? Yeah, I'm eating my words right now. I, I could I could do with these benches. Sure. Well, let's put them down where though. I say we put them down because again it feels like water themed, right? I say we put them down over here. Let's see how this works. If this works, I hate that you can't like use the advanced placement tool. That would really like that to work. And this to work. That's as good as we can get it. All right. See if anybody actually sits there. I mean, this is right by the entrance. Then again, our entrance path is a pretty long one as well. We'll see if this sees any activity. It's close enough to where I feel like if people come back from there, they might sit there as well. But we'll need some benches over here as well. And again, the New World bench is just, just a nice bench that works. The... Um, South America. Yeah, you see what I mean? Like, this is, like, super gaudy and, like, kitschy. And I don't... It, it stands out like a sore thumb. I wish you could just do... Like, in fact, I'll show you what I wish you could just do. Here. Um, and what you can expect more of as we, as we go on with this playthrough, right? Go ahead and put this right over here, the coolest spot in the entire zoo. <laughs> right on top of the cooler. Put you down over there centered enough, I think, for now. And let's go ahead and do... Hmm. Put these stone pieces, I feel like that'll do the trick. Yes, this will do the trick nicely, I think. Let me get you. Snap that, and there it is. There, to me... That fits the space a lot more nicely than any of the benches that actually came with the DLC. There we go. And now it should actually work nicely as well where guests will sit down. That's another reason why I like the New World bench because it will, uh, it kind of blends in like that. Kind of, it, it, it can be used as a building block for things to blend into, I mean. Cool. View from the llama for the llama is not great. Well, Literally, you have everywhere else you can go to. Wish I could see where they were complaining about. Viewing issues is nothing new for me. And again, once we, you know what, in fact, I could even look to adopting even more. So beautiful. That is extremely. Man. Um, but yeah, so I was checking to see if the view over there was a viable view. We, we can adapt more um, llamas, actually. Go ahead and take a look. More more animals means more opportunity for better views. Nah, I want I want good animals. I want good an oh yeah, that's actually not bad. <laughs> that's actually not bad. And and cheap to boot. Fine, let's go ahead and get him. Go ahead and get you. Again, we can have up to 30, right? Now 30 in this space might be a little tight, but we can definitely get at least 10, maybe even 15 in this space. And then people won't have, you know, poor views, hopefully, ever, and then money will come through more nicely as well. Cool. The space is still busy. Yeah, you're still busy. You're still busy. You have a vendor. Yeah, hopefully you'll get busy. Bench is not being used yet, but we'll see about that as time goes on. Ticket prices are good. Right. I need to up the ticket prices. I forgot to do that earlier. What are you doing? Let's get you doing advanced research over here. Helps with education ratings, if I recall correctly. Um... 
overview. Went up the price to, let's say, 6. I think 6 should be fine. I typically do like 50 cent increments and, or I, I, I typically consider 50 cent increments and stuff as well, but then I go, you know what, they'll complain if they need to and I'll drop it down. And these numbers need to go higher. Marketing obviously is nothing right now. Animal rating, doing okay. Conservation rating. Well, I guess none of the animals we're taking care of right now are heavily endangered or anything, but we'll take care of that very soon as we get like the Baird's tape here and stuff. We'll, uh, we'll be taking care of that pretty soon. Money again is looking pretty good. I could put down another stall over here, though not looking very busy actually. I guess we've taken care of that need with the other shop over there. Fair enough. Oh, that's so nice. They actually make... Oh, run. Trying to share the audio experience here. I don't know if you could hear that, but they the 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 walking sounds like they're you know clip clopping on stone. That's neat. Food's coming through. You're cooling off in the water, probably. All right, cool, cool, cool. I mean, this is pretty good. Lots of them standing over here. I don't know if they go to the donation. You can really tell they put a medium amount of thought into the planning. Hey, man. That's rude. <laughs> put a lot of thigh into the planning. Don't put this donation bin down over here. Actually, I haven't seen if the uh, llamas are able to interact with... Yeah, they are. We got all this room over here. Good. Good stuff, good stuff. I do want to get our baby llama. Do want to get our baby llama. Oh, people are pretty... Oh yeah, okay, good. We've got people coming through over here as well. Now... Our male saltwater croc is a bit on the old side, still able to have babies. Again, they can have babies right until death, right? Male and female both. So that's good. Uh, I would like to see them get to it at least one more time. A few more baby crocs could go a long way for us. They're both really happy. Again, happiness matters a lot for uh, uh, reproduction and stuff like that. So hopefully we'll, we'll see something from there. Oh, yeah, this is actually pretty interesting. You can kind of see the croc there. If they come a little bit closer, you'd have a good view over here. No one using that bench yet, either. I, like, rarely happen to catch people using benches. I could also make washrooms free. I think that'll, I think that'll be the right call. I think it'll make guests happier. They can use the washrooms and stuff. Then they'll be able to donate as well, right, with the money they save doesn't cost too much is fine but I want happiness to be higher that should help and the ATMs I am charging a little bit let's get rid of that charge because again if people are dead broke if they have no money and they can't use the ATM they'll be able to contribute less as far as donations and stuff are concerned which is a bigger problem but move you over to llama lane and what's up over here low on cash I know, I know. Hang in there, release to wild. Release any one habitat species to the wild. I mean, I've got, got plenty in storage, I suppose. Actually, I wonder if this works. I'm curious. Wow, it does, huh. Okay, fair enough, I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. I think we can speed time up just a little bit. Oh no, actually, wait, 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 we've passed February. Where's our... <gasps> there he is, isn't he? Oh, yes. He or... Yes, he. Olanta. Come over here, you cutie. Look at that face. Oh my god. It's such like a smooshy face. And he speaks. <sighs> okay, surely this will draw in at least something of a crowd. Oh man. <laughs> oh my god, that is that is something special. That is something special. <laughs> so cute. They're such cute animals. You're having a little lie down over here. Yeah. Comfy hopefully. These animals are pretty happy. Food enrichment we could improve. Again, as more babies and stuff come through as well, right? They'll want more the stuff to do. They'll need more stuff to do. 100 is not that bad to spend on animal happiness. I could add. 
another llama need fulfillment oh, llama there we go barrel feeder over here a little bit of variety sure and if they're happier they'll, they'll draw more animal has escaped what oh right of course put the vet over here they're not a dangerous animal they managed to creep out from underneath this i knew it was coming too i remember remarking on it uh last session like oh i need to remember that but now that the baby's here, I forgot because I got distracted by the baby. Baby using its charms against me. No, get back here. Back here. Okay, we'll wait for the vet. Not a dangerous animal. It's far away. People aren't near there, so they're not running away. They're not fleeing. They're not asking for refunds, things like that. Hopefully. Oh, he's back. He's back. He's back. Good stuff. I had a feeling it would just kind of happen and take care of itself naturally, but I wanted to make sure I was calling a vet just in case. Just in case. And we'll need... Actually, you know what? We're going to need the taiga rock over here. Because the coloration needs to match what I'm going to be doing in the area. Might as well start it off right, not waste any money on a rock that we don't actually want here. And pop you down over here instead. I'm so excited to see this place completed and I, I thank you for your patience as well in the execution of these uh, often large-scale projects that stuff takes time to execute properly and uh, I don't ever want to you know take the easy route so I, I I'm definitely very appreciative that y'all understand that and uh, are willing to join me in, in sessions and stuff that maybe don't have uh, the time lapses, which I feel like is not going to happen today. I feel like we're not going to have a time lapse today, but I also feel like our financial situation will be good enough to have a time lapse next si next time for sure. Where's our baby? Oh, we're having another one? November of this year? Wow, all right, sure. Keep at it. Excellent. All right, yeah, we've got some more escape routes. Fine over there. You can get up over here. Ah, okay, I see. How do you get out over there? Oh, I see what's going on. You don't need to really get out over there, but... But you get out of the edge over there, yeah. That's the that's the issue there. Not a problem. Go ahead and sort this out first. Yep. And again, it'll all smooth out when, uh, when we get there, right? Where's my... Go. Before that buddy gets out, go ahead and edit this. Just nudge you over. There we go. That's gotta be it. You're not the baby, are you? Are you? They look like about the same size. You're the baby. Yes. Alright, cool. I like being able to just identify them. Yeah, we're good. Cool. Perfect, perfect, perfect. No escapes. No escape routes. Yes, excellent, excellent, excellent. Money is looking very good, actually. We're at 7k now. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. I, I know it doesn't sound like much, but it means we are trending positively. It means we didn't overspend this session. We made 4k last year. We're making... We've got, we're at 2k right now, so, you know, again, trajectory is at roughly that 4k mark as well. Hopefully, no refunds. Yeah. Wages... That's the other thing as well. We've kept up with wage increases because of training as well as new hires. You get to see lots of people going after the ice cream and the drinks. Yeah. Hunger washroom. Okay, well, we've got a washroom here. I wonder if we go ahead and get that symmetry. And drop you down over here as well. Now, hang on a second. Why is that not a straight line? This is what kills me about the game. See, I... Look. This was a straight line. And then I used the grid option to put all of this down. So this should be a straight line, but it's not. And how, like, how am I supposed to work around that? <laughs> how am I supposed to work around that? Why is this not a straight line? Jeez. Blows my mind. Okay, now, do we put a toilet down over there or do we put one down over there? That's the question. That is the question, my friends. And the answer is what I seek. Let's see, hunger washroom. Is the washroom situation bad over here? Now, the best way to probably do this is guest needs toilet. There's no real 
pattern, I would say. This looks like it's close enough to serve people in the area. Let's see if these guys go use the washroom, right? They, they pretty desperately need the washroom. They're headed to toilet block one. Yes, they are. Okay, cool. So you know what? If I do get a washroom, I'm going to get it down over here. I think I should. Again, just, you know, think of it as a way to invite guests into the space. And will you connect is the question. You will not. I want to tuck it in over here then. Not a problem. We had a nice, like, connection over here earlier. Oh, I guess I could do this. And does it feel strange taking a taking a washroom break among the llamas? Or is it super cool? I think it's pretty cool. Like, to, to a degree, I almost treat this space like uh, how peafowl are often treated in, in zoos. Where you kind of just, they kind of just roam with you. <laughs> they kind of just are there. You know, I mean, I don't know about zoos around the world, but in at Toronto Zoo, it really just feels kind of like, yeah, they're hanging out, and you go to the local, local, you go to the, the food stall, you pick up food, you go to the washroom, there's peafowl around. They're just kind of hanging around because they're free to roam. So that's kind of why I'm okay with having this transitional area, I guess you could call it. And actually, before I forget, I should probably get that keeper hut I was talking about, though it seems like we're on task now. Seems like we're okay. It looks like we were having the issue we were having was more about the number of keepers rather than the distance they had to travel. Happiness is still a problem. Guest happiness. I'm super excited. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, man. I'm super excited too. The zoo could do with expanding a little. The zoo could do with your donations. You want to see it expand? It's some money in the bin. I understand you're a child. Look at this. Look at this kid's opinion. The view of the llama of Mir is quite good. You can really tell they put a medium amount of thought into the planning. Definitely. <laughs> see uh, see the connection there? This is good, though. We're seeing some decent crowds over here. Ticket price is good. Oh, wow. Can we really actually take the ticket prices a little bit higher? Home time, fine. They're not tired or anything. Price is good. Yeah, lots of people actually talking about the ticket price being good. So let's go ahead and sort that out. Uh, what do I look for? The price, let's pop you up to seven, perhaps, and six. It just feels realistic to me to have two separate prices, by the way. I've seen it mentioned like they don't have to be different. Again, I do think I'm fairly convinced I've seen it matter. Maybe I'm mistaken. Uh, but beyond that, I like the uh, the implied realism there as well. We can get some more benches down over here. Again, I kind of like that wavy look and how it ties into the water-themed opening space over here. Not that expensive, and hopefully it has a profound effect on guest happiness in the area. I'm not really feeling tired, though. Now, I will need a name for this Pip Shot Water 2, by the way, that we've got over here. Everything else has got a name, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, everything else has a name. So this Pip Shot Water needs a name, the one by the Crocs. Uh, we've got our Laminade over here. I have a name for a Pip Shot Water down over here as well, once we eventually buy it, which... I don't know if we need just quite yet. Now, there's a bit of thirst over here, but I haven't... Until I see lineups over here, I'll be a little unconvinced. These guys are really crowding around this TV, eh? I'm not going to complain about that. Let's go ahead and spread this out a little bit, though. Get more of that education at more spots, right? There we go. Just a little bit closer to that donation bin, maybe? Ooh, just got one, didn't we? This one? Yeah, get some as well. I mean, this is close enough, honestly. Are you using the washroom? No, just Llama Lane. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Wow, the toilet blocks are, blocks are free. That's good. Hopefully it's going to help happiness overall. I, I identify with uh, Hazel McGovern here. Look at the baby llama. Just look at it. I mean, yes. Just look at it. Oh my god, look at that run. Look at that, young noble. Doesn't sound like one, but... <laughs> All right, uh, money's good. Let's go ahead and speed time up just a little bit. I just want to see where we can end up. October, November is when we get our second baby. Pretty good overall, though. Financially speaking, we're we're golden, I think. Yeah, 
trending upwards still. Again, zoo ticket prices went up as well, so next year we'll be making even more money. And the thing is, at the end of the day, a lot of the construction pieces are... Oh, wow, look at this. Look at that. That's actually... Wow. You know what? I'm really happy with this. Just visually, it's worked out very realistically. Guests lining up across the entire extent of this viewing spot to see little baby croc over there, I think, and probably the adult as well, I should hope. Don't just uh, ignore Edlock just because a little bit older. Education not doing so hot, though. You're standing right next to the education board. 8%. Marginal. Treasured looking at the saltwater crocodile so much that I'm never going to clean my eyeballs. Good for you, buddy. And getting a little bit of education over there as well. Cool. Yeah, I'm really liking this. I'm really liking how people are interacting with the space. It's actually making me feel so good that it's... I mean, look at that. Look at that. These guys have, like, lined up. I can imagine the actual conversations among people, like, oh, 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 over there, over there. And then people, like, trying to find an empty spot to stand. Like, I don't know. I just, it, it, I feel really good when things work out like that. And even over here, when we were seeing those big crowds, it was quite nice. And now that it's, uh, there's our other baby. Tuta. That's a cute name. That is a cute name. <laughs> That's a cute name. Little girl over here. Go on. Go on. I could have sworn she was about to, like, say something. Guess not. This is good. This is good. We got baby llamas. We got decent crowds. We got money coming through. We got education improving. Yes, we've got donations improving. Awesome. Awesome. And I'm feeling pretty comfortable that uh, pretty early on next session we'll be able to get a time lapse, a nice hefty time lapse. Now the question I pose to you, would you rather see this space get worked on first or this space get worked on first? Hold on, before we get to that, people are using the benches. That's great to see. That's great to see. Energy at 100%, cool. And all they came for was a saltwater croc, but they are also going to Llama Lane, wonderful. Um, but yeah, so, yeah, 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 I turn to you to see, like, what would you like to see first? This area or this area? But I might even be able to get both done. I'd like to do a beauty pass uh, to complete the space and also do lighting at the same time. And uh, see where that gets us, basically. But enough of this llama drama, as we're going to call it a session, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one again. I understand it's uh, always exciting to have a time lapse, and it's unfortunate that we didn't have one today. But I hope you all understand the... Uh, the reason for it and the benefit of it as well. We're at 9k, which means early on next session we'll be at 10k. It is the 11th of January on or in year 14. Money has been, yes, very much trending upwards. Guest count has been trending upwards as well. We're at almost 400. I wouldn't be surprised if we crossed that a couple times and I missed it. Um, you can't see over here, so maybe you can, but I'm not going to go digging for that right now. Feeling pretty good. Next session is going to be a big one as far as uh, beautification is concerned. I'm really excited for it. I'm really excited for it because I've got plans. I've got so many plans for, oh, it's going to be so good. All right, folks, thank you as always for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please don't hesitate to let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. And if you did not enjoy, let me know as well. Leave a comment. Give me your feedback. I don't mind at all. Uh, again, constructive criticism is always welcome. Um, so as long as, you know, you're not being horribly rude or anything, <laughs> feel free to share your opinion. Uh, and I can adapt accordingly. I can adjust accordingly. And uh, hopefully we're all enjoying the show and enjoying season two of our franchise mode Let's Play. Man, um, I don't think I can, I don't think words can justify how pleased I am with uh, how people are interacting with the spaces and just how the space feels uh, right from the get-go. Well, like I said, that's enough of this llama drama, folks. As always, a massive thanks goes out to all of my channel members and patrons for supporting this channel on a monthly basis to keep us alive and running smoothly. And a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time. Cheers.